anyone we spoke to, so, so polite, so, mm -hmm. so nice, helped us out. And we didn't actually bump into a single rude person. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, not reaction video. It's not a reaction. Well, it's kind of a re reaction to to our trips. It is a reaction to our trip. So this is one of them. Forget everything we've reacted to. Forget everything we've watched. We are going back to 20... 19. 2019. We are going back to when we hadn't got a channel yet. We went to New York in obviously America for the first time. So city, this... just to clarify. Pardon? New York City. Yeah, New York City. We only stayed in Manhattan. So this is our culture shocks when we visited America for the first time. Smash that like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button. We would really appreciate it. We have a Patreon as well, don't we? We do have a Patreon. There's a link in the description. The link is in the description, as always. It really does help us out. You do get full reactions move to the movies on there as well. If you've enjoyed yep. some of the movies we do, we, we actually uploaded 300 on the channel today as well, which is on the movie channel, but it got taken down. So we're testing it on our main channel, aren't we? Yeah, testing the waters, see what happens. Testing the waters, and there's a QA and a which is going up on there as well, just from some of the questions on there. So if you sign up now, you never know, you, you might get question, to see it. your question might yeah. get on there. You definitely get to see it, but you might be able to get your question in in time if you sign up pretty soon. But it does really help us, so thank you to our patrons. Okay, the first one I think we should just kind of just get out of the way. It's, get out of the way. It's we, like the elephant in the room. We've talked about this so many yeah. times. So like we, for like our, what we're going to say about it is kind of a general. A general thing. So it's tipping. It is tipping. Um, tipping, we don't really do, didn't didn't really do in the UK in back in 2019. It was in, becoming a thing. No, restaurants 100%. Yeah, but like not like bar, we don't, well, we just thought. That's what I mean, Re restaurants 100% tipping. But for us, I don't think, maybe because again, we were a bit younger, didn't have enough money. It definitely wasn't a flat out 15%. It was probably like a 5% And also, normally. thinking back, 2019, we were 18 when we went. Yeah. We were living with parents. Our parents took us out for dinner. We didn't really go we out did. for dinner I mean, as much. They so. did tip though, like a, yeah. a tippy thing. Probably restaurants five per se. Takeaway drivers a couple pound. We didn't yeah, experience like takeaway drivers pound. in America, but bars n never. No, not bars. We still don't have bars in the UK. And it. And, I, think, and, I think it'd be weird. Like I feel like if I gave like five pound to a, the bar person for getting me a drink, I think they'd be like, "What's that for?" Yeah. Well, no. I, no your I, drink wasn't I, five pound. I think it's becoming more common. I think they normally have tip jars now, don't they? Uh, yeah, like on the top. They don't. But I, I don't think many people use them. Obviously, in America, it's used loads. And I think a big thing was us. We're, we're guests at the end of the day. We're visiting, aren't we? Yeah. We're visitors. We wanted to stick by the culture, so we tipped for fifteen percent, no matter what, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We did it. Restaurant, taxis. Yeah, tax as well. We do we do tap it um uh We round up in taxis. Yeah, we round up in taxis as well. And maybe a couple pound tip. It's not like if it's a twenty quid journey, it's not like ten percent, even though that's no. gonna be two pounds. But if it's a super expensive one, you probably give them a fiver or something like that. I think basically what we're trying to say is that we tipped what was a, what was appropriate for America in America. Yeah, but that was a shock to us because one, it was more than we expected, and two, we d we don't really do it often. No, definitely not. Well I guess if we're talking about restaurants, we may as well go on the next one which I don't think was a bad thing because it was just the two of us, but it was kind of like everywhere we went felt rushed in terms of food. Yeah, I feel like, so we went to a restaurant for dinner. Yeah, like we went to Carragher's Bar, didn't we, and stuff like that. Yeah, the, it, it's like, I don't think it was a bad thing, but it just I seemed like we ordered, then our food was here. Yeah. Then our food was, then our plates were taken away. And then the, the menu was coming out for the next thing. Not then, even the menu, just our food was there. ordered it all in one go. Yeah, you ordered it at the start. But like... I don't know, I feel like I like a little bit of time just to... Whew. I, I think because it was just two of us, it weren't too bad because we had our starter, luckily not too... Most of the time, we kind of... After the first one, we kind of expected it so we didn't have a big starter. But, like, if there were a group of, like, ten of us, you kind of want to take your time. And chat. And, and but chat. it was very busy, so I feel like that might have been, like, contributing to how quick they are. Yeah. The turnaround, because they were so busy. It was packed. Yeah, we, we definitely have learned since, obviously, doing these videos and stuff like that. But it's a common thing that they... Yeah pretty much just rush you out at the end of the day it's a business they yeah. want the tips they want the money so the more people we can get in yeah and exactly out, the better but in the uk i don't know if a lot of people know maybe a lot of europe as well it's kind you're of like ages for your food in some places you wait ages you sat down you're having a big chat before you probably have a big chat between your store and mains sometimes you stay around yeah. for a while after waiters yeah. don't really they don't really come and press no. you for a bill Whereas you've got to find them <laughs> i found in Carragher's we got offered our bill like constantly as soon as we'd finished our dessert 
it was like, do you want to get the like when they were taking our plates away? Do you want to have the bill now? Do you want to have the bill? We're yeah. Like, oh, could we just maybe get another drink? <laughs> Where sometimes we'll finish our food, we'll have another drink, and then it's like we need to get going. Where's the way? Like, and then you're looking around like we're getting a bit late here, and, yeah. you, and then it's like finally, like, please can we have the bill? Yeah. And then ten minutes later, the bill comes instead yeah. of oh there you go. So it, it was definitely different. It was different. I don't know if it was. I I didn't find it bad. weren't an issue 100%. It wasn't an issue, it was just different to what we're used to. Different and it just kind of stuck in the yeah. mind if that makes sense. Yeah. So again this leads us on to I think, kind of related. <laughs> portion sizes. Oh, por now this like, so the one place and you're gonna laugh at me that really blew my mind was McDonald's. <laughs> 100%. I literally like, I, I think Wendy's as well like fast food places. I was, yeah I could not believe the size of the of the portions like the fries how big they are compared yep. to ours the big thing that shot me was the drinks they i had to hold massive. my drink with two hands two hands. it was so big <laughs> honestly we couldn't like, believe it <laughs> your small is our large yeah for drink much. but like even in the restaurant then going to like proper food it was like the, i don't know the plates maybe the plate. plates were bigger um we take like i think you've got a doggy box and stuff like food to take away pretty much we do that a lot in the uk but because we were we didn't have a flat to go to. We didn't no. do that, so we kind of felt obliged to finish this massive plate. It was, yeah, there was a lot of food. And then I feel like even we went to, like, for lunch, and we went to, like, a little cafe by Tom yeah. Central Park, and even, like, the sandwiches and everything oh, just huge. seemed... Everything just seemed bigger. Definitely. The wraps. Everything just... And, like, it, I think it, one of them was, like, a, a prep, prep and manger or something. Yeah, even just, like, a standard but, thing like, in even the UK. A, but that's, like, a UK thing. We have that in the UK, too. Yeah. But I feel like when we've been to the UK ones, like that's not as big. Oh, everything! And literally, everything was just bigger. We get you. I guess it's a stereotype you guys eat more, but it, honestly, your portion sizes are so much bigger than ours. Which again, yeah, I, don't I mean, it's not a bad thing. McDonald's. I was not complaining. Oh, the drinks were amazing. Weren't the they? drinks were so just having them so big. Good. Oh. We, was so we good. did make a mistake with the drinks, which we're not going to tell you what, because that's going to be a bonus one at the end of this video. Yeah, so another stay one tuned for that. Starbucks. Starbucks drink sizes were massive. Oh, they were massive as well. We didn't have many, but they were massive. They were massive. All right, the next one is actually a really nice one, isn't it? It's pretty much... We were... I mean, obviously, we hadn't done this channel before, so we hadn't met most of you absolute legends, which was a lot of you. We hadn't met any Americans before. We only had stereotypes of ignoring rude characters. That's all we had to go off. But you got to judge for yourself. And literally, anyone we spoke to, so, so polite, so, mm -hmm. so nice, helped us out. And we didn't actually bump into a single rude person. So all I can say is everyone was so nice and friendly. Yeah, I feel like before we went, I kind of thought of New York as everyone kind of kept to themselves, their own yeah. business, head down. Like, Ignore the tourists. To be. <laughs> um, but I feel like everybody from, like, directions needed, the police officers. Oh, they were so nice to us. In Times Square. Yeah, yeah. Um, like people at the we did the tours but even the like tours were, yeah. there was like i remember on the world trade center tour that there was a guy that was leading the tour there's also the people that were in the tour group with us yeah and then like we were the only british british people in there yeah, oh, and yeah. they were asking us loads of questions you about knew Jersey, England, didn't they? and like just the people seemed friendly like not Definitely. just not just the people that you think like that are going for the tips yeah just a, just yes, general on the people on the street like Definitely. That, yeah definitely. and that, that was quite funny about the tall guy because literally he had heard of jersey obviously old jersey what we live in because of the cows wasn't it but it was funny because he was like where are you guys from in britain and we we're like well we'll start with england because like <laughs> yeah. to go to jersey straight away it, most people like, most people what? don't know what we're talking about so we were like so you know England? He was like yeah and we were like well it's like a little island in between england and france and he was like oh jersey yeah. we were like yeah and he was like where jersey cows are from we were like yeah <laughs> which was mad what? because we, we did not expect that i mean he's a tall guy so maybe he's had so many people mm -hmm. but he i mean he was so friendly as well just chatting away and uh, i mean yeah everyone were weren't they people in the shops the even in mcdonald's who were friendly everyone was just nice and it honestly surprised us and it was an awesome feeling because you go to the subway we were 18 the subway everyone was nice you're 18 we, yeah we were young we were nervous you, you go in you're going to be nervous you're going to be a bit petrified it's a massive city as well and it just kind of settles you down with everyone being polite and i remember in Carragher's, the guy was he oh was, he was so he kept sounding, saying you know like he made a joke didn't he about the age yeah about us being he's like i know you're 18 and i know you could drink because i think he was irish he was irish and um, he was basically saying i'm so sorry i can't serve you i can't because i know it's legal and like where we're from yeah but he would then he was like come and check on us make sure we we're because he could tell we were obviously 18 in a big city yeah on our own it, it was um, absolutely great but it? everyone was just so friendly so i guess that would mean that we can just talk about the age limit bring us on to the next one perfect the drinking the age limit 21 that we, that was that was, was hard hard 
for two little eighteen year olds that have just turned eighteen. Yeah, like like say. <laughs> and we're ready to drink. We're not big drinkers at all. I mean we go out and we have a drink. No. We're on holiday at the end of the day. I always like everyone on holiday. And it was just a weird block in our head. It's like, oh, should we have a bit? Oh, oh, it, we can't. <laughs> the funny thing was, on the plane, you had a beer. Yep. On the plane to New York. We landed in New York and you... I mean, I couldn't I mean, I mean, couldn't have a beer on the way back. <laughs> because it, Yeah, because it was in New off. York. Yeah, it, it was mad. It, it, yeah, it, that was... That was bizarre. Which again, it's not an issue for us. We can happily go a holiday without drinking, um, and we we don't drink. Which like often. sometimes we'd have a drink with a meal, and it, I think, like, it'd be normal. I think it's just the mental shock of oh, you know what, I might have a lager today, and then you kind of clear. Oh, I can't. It's twenty one. You know what I mean? And then also, you forget. I think, like for me in my head, because I'm quite a panic, like nervous person. Yeah. I kept thinking, we're not old enough to drink. We're so young. What we're we doing here? <laughs> <On our laughs> okay, own. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, but like we just sat there, and they're like, they can't serve you because you're not twenty one. It's like. Why are we so young here yeah, in this big um, place? It definitely is mad, isn't it? it um, is. But only mad, like, it's your guys' laws. I know not everyone agrees with it. Um, I know the whole thing, you can vote before it. But for us, it were more just, we weren't used to it, were we? No, but we did have wine in our hotel room. Oh, there were wine in our hotel room, but I don't think they clocked that we were 18 to We also didn't drink it. We also didn't drink it. We were, that's it what I mean, we weren't wrong. that bothered. It felt wrong. <laughs> we can't break the law even in our hotel room. <laughs> no, we didn't They're even drink us. it. They're watching us. So we're, like, we're not that bothered. But actually, I think we were, I think I was panicking. So I was panicking when you had a beer on the plane. I was panicking like, you can't be seen to be drunk when <laughs> you, you get to New get York. I was going to get I was like, please don't, like, you can only have one because... And then I was panicking in the hotel, like, you can't drink that because imagine if they come in and they see the yeah, drink that day and... Yeah, take your passport. I'm too, I'm too of a conscience to, no, to break the law. And it's just something we weren't used to, was it? Yeah. Sales tax, another kind of elephant in the room, which we've covered a lot, but at the time, for us just wrapping our heads around it, we kept forgetting, didn't we? We did, and I feel like, actually, I didn't really... So we went to, like, the bigger shops, like, Century 21, where we did, like... A, quite a bit of shopping. Yeah. I didn't really click onto it. Oh, it definitely adds up. But obviously, like it, it adds up at the, the till. But the places I place I really remember thinking about it was we went to like a little. It was like a little, not almost grocery store, but okay. it, but it had like all this where we got our sweets from. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All yeah. our sweets like from that little shop. I don't yeah. Know, I, I can't even tell you what the name was. It looked <laughs> a bit dodgy, if I'm being honest. But I mean, it was fine. Yeah. Um, and I remember thinking like, oh, like I don't know these nerds are like one one dollar something yeah, yeah. this is one dollar something this this can't be more than like ten dollars then you get to the till and it's like fifteen dollars and you're like what I, i've literally what have i like what i think that's when it confuses you most because you you if you're buying one item you know the price for items you go and then it's more and it's, it's, like, it's, it's not a big deal at the end of the day yeah, it's not we had money we was on holiday it was an extra 50p or 50 cents no it's just um, I it's think not an issue it's, it's just, just different like, what <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> Joe. Yeah. And then if you go into your next shop, but you may not shop for a couple of hours. So you go into your next shop. Oh, this is one dollar. Oh, I've got I've got one dollar change in it or something. Yeah, because like we're trying to use oh, our change. Oh, it's just oh oh sorry. It's like not I'm like just forgetting. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's just different because we're so used to here everything being included in the price. Definitely. Which is not a problem because our prices are probably a bit more expensive because they include it. It's probably about the same thing. Oh yeah, in, it's in just theory it works out the on same. On the price of the thing, it doesn't. Yeah. Because we pay VAT, and I I know you can look at the receipt to look at the tax but we never look at that so it's no, like we, we never ever know price, how like... we never know how much our tax is because we don't look at the receipt i do get the bonus of being able to go oh well I, every time knowing you paid however much on your tax yeah I guess. You bought, bought a single item if you're interested in that as well Definitely. and also seeing how much the item would like be without it's just the item that might be depressing though yeah, yeah. <laughs> that potentially could be. Let us know what you guys think about sales tax i think it's something you get used to yeah i didn't this is probably really silly but Sales tax wasn't a thing in the like the cafes, was it? I assume so. I did not notice. I assume. But like, you so. know, you I got your hot dog on the street. Yeah. Your pretzel. Did it? Was it? I assume just... because they're just telling you the price and it weren't marked. They didn't tell you. They just said it's this price. With it. I'm get, I don't actually know. Let us know in the comments below. That'd be interesting. Okay, we have a bonus one because I feel like this is one that we didn't actually experience. So good. We didn't know about it, but I feel like it's still worthy of a talk about. Definitely. Um, so it is free refills. Yeah, I mean, we, again, we hadn't done Which the Which I'm channel. so sorry about. We, we didn't know about it. So the massive McDonald's cups, we had no clue. Because it's pre-COVID as well. I know it's died down a little bit after COVID. We could have just gone and refilled it. That is mad. We we didn't know. It's It makes me sad. <laughs> it's actually quite sad. Because we didn't have a single free refill because we just didn't know about it. No. But it's a massive thing in America. And so I wish we took advantage of We went to so many cafes. So many fast food places. Wendy's, we were sitting in there. We could have literally yeah. had another drink. We literally could have had another drink, but we didn't. We could have had another five if we wanted to. And by the way, if you're thinking, do you not have them in the UK? 
we then Carragas. Need... We didn't even get a free refill in Carragas. Maybe that's a restaurant. Maybe you don't get that. Or maybe they did give us a free refill when we asked for another drink, but we didn't see it on the bill. I don't know. I don't know. I assume not with restaurants. I would think it's more fast food places. Okay. Is what? Let us know if it is restaurants as well. I assume more fast food places. Okay. But we did go to a lot. And we did. Fast we, food. We missed out. It was only when we got back. We did videos actually like, oh my God, we've missed out on so many it's free It's funny. Refills. I feel like people are going to laugh. Like, especially people from Discord. Because we say we've been to a lot of fast food places. We went to yeah. a lot, Which we did go to a lot of fast food places. Yeah. But it was mainly between Wendy's and McDonald's. Yeah, it was pretty much Wendy's. We didn't Wednesdays try like Taco many. Bell and all that. It was just Wednesday, it's, uh, Wednesdays. Wednesdays. <laughs> Wednesdays and McDonald's. There were literally only two, but we went to them quite a few times. Just because we did a lot. We were on our run. We popped in quickly, grabbed some, grabbed a drink. We could have stayed there for an extra five minutes if I knew we were getting a free refill, but we didn't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think McDonald's, we didn't even sit in, did we? Because it was so busy. We'd, yeah, just a lot of it. We did sit in once. We no, sit yeah, once. once we took it back to our hotel, do you remember? Yeah. We laid on the bed, we were like, we're so tired. We sat in at Wendy's as well, so we could Wendy's have that, was good. But let us know in the comments if you take advantage of free refills. Let us know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. We'll definitely be taking advantage for next time. Oh, 100%. But let us know how common America, it is you now. better get ready because we're coming. We're sitting there for hours. But it's dying down now, isn't it? Because after COVID, people saying oh. there's less and less free refills. So please let us know where it doesn't because we want to go. Smash that like button guys, smash that subscribe button. The more you like and subscribe, the more we know you want to see it. The more we'll do videos like this. Yes. What should we do? Have a fantastic day. And we will see you legends in the next one. Peace.